The celestial gates are wide open, and I do believe that it is preparing us for Sagittarius season. Welcome, divine souls. As the celestial gates are open, we are entering a very profound and sacred alignment, one that has been calling us forward. Many of us have already braved the trail. We have already forged our path and blazed the way through our own battles. Now, as we approach Sagittarius season, we are not only riding forward with strength, we are helping others cross over as well. The energies are pouring through this portal, are setting us up for a very powerful season where we will ride the cosmic warriors with bows in our hands and arrows ablaze, aiming at our highest potential and firing at any force that stands in our way. Our ancestors are right beside us, guiding and empowering us, and their energies will strike down anything that is out of alignment with the divine truth. There is no need to lower ourselves to 3D to address any opposition. That can be hard especially for me. You know, a common mistake is people see emperors, but they don't know about the warrior. They don't know about the knight. They don't know about the fool. They don't know about all the things that we had to go through. You know what I'm saying? To mold us and temperament us into the person you see today. So again, do not lower yourself and to address any of these oppositions. Our intentions, our energy, ancestral forces protecting us will be felt from great distance, period. They will feel you, bro. This is our moment. I want you to take the time. I want you to visualize and even write it down, your intentions. You literally shape, you breathe life into them and let them infuse with life force energy flowing through this portal. These are not just words on a page. I mean, they can be. This can be just a video for you. This all could be a joke for you because you're a joke. But for me, these are literally seeds of transformation. The blueprint for what we are here to create and become. Sagittarius season is nearly here and we will ride in full strength. Celestial archers aimed with fiery arrows of purpose, ready to hit our mark. The gates are open, the cosmos is calling, and we are unstoppable. This is our time to rise in alignment, to claim the power that's always been within you. So let's ride this wave together, blazing the trails for all who follow. The universe awaits our light. I wanna say stay alive and protect your energy because these vampiric, these parasitical energies are very real right now. I wanna say to those that feel lost, to those who feel forgotten in their strength, in their purpose, their divinity, this part of the message is for you, especially right now during this powerful 1111 portal. This is the moment where the energies are flooding in are very potent and they are here to activate you. If you allow them, don't let the septic forces around you break you and diminish your light or distort your energy. Protect your aura and don't let anything shrink you. Do you hear me? Your energy is way too powerful to be drained. This is not time to give in. This is actually time to rise, to claim your highest form and your highest vision. Yesterday, I got a message telling me to stay off drugs. Bro, you want to talk about my blood going? You want to talk about me getting excited? People don't know, they don't know that I'm light and dark, bro. They don't know that I will pull up on you and I'm not saying this to flex. I'm saying this because that was an immaturity on my part that I had to evolve and heal. Listen, they, you know, I'll give you this. I don't look as authentic as I could be because I'm trying to formulate, I'm trying to stay in my throat chakra, I'm trying to be present and communicate. The real me is over everything, bro. The real me wants to throw hands. The real me is an earth angel, and I'm not meant for this social media. I'm meant to be literally groundwork, ground crew. But right now I'm aligning my celestial kin, my celestial pathfinders, and we are gonna to come together and literally build the new earth. So I'll give you that. To stay off drugs, bro, you can go fuck yourself. Who gave you the right to say obnoxious like that and to think you're okay? That's that bull See, now I gotta show you what I'm talking about. I gotta calm down. She told me to return to reality. And then she said that everything will align. At first I was ready to respond. I was ready to make a whole video. I actually did make a whole video. I went in, I cussed her out, bro, I went in. But I stopped myself because I understand what's happening. With these energies at play, what they want, especially with these portals opening up right now, they wanted to pull me down and distract me to weaken my vision because the enemy knows what I'm capable of. They know that I literally create realities and I understand my purpose and what is literally at hand right now, especially with this 1111 portal energies opening up. These energies are here to elevate 
But trust me, there are forces that want to distract. They want to pull you down to stop you from stepping fully into your own power. Yes, just like you know, the enemy knows. They know you have the power to create your realities. They know the 1111 portal is open. And yes, it's opening up to higher frequencies. And they want to keep us trapped into this old ass limited narrative. So let me say this. Alignment is not just something that just happened. It is something we make happen. We create it. And the 1111 portal is here to align us with our divine purpose, not some fake ass version of reality that others cling to. So when they try to call us pseudo or dismiss the truth we speak, it's because they cannot handle the light we carry. The reality they want me to go back to, the one that keeps people in cages of fear and control and limitations, that's not the reality I'm here to create. We were not meant to be small. We were not meant to be slaves or a part of any system that drains us. We were designed to grow, to expand, to break those barriers and to manifest our highest reality. We are meant to have life and life more abundantly. And just know that every struggle, everything we endured, every sacrifice I've made, none of it is for nothing. I've walked through the fires of transformation and this 1111 portal is the light at the end of the tunnel. I am not here to return to a false reality like your ass. I'm here to create a new one. So to those that are still clinging to their own small, limited ass view of the world, go ahead with yourself. Live in your version of reality. Lie to yourself if it helps. But know this, that I'm not the one to be silenced. Even the shadow community knows that. For years, they know that. 1111 portal is here and we are stepping into this new frequency, a new way of being. It is time to rise. It is time to protect your energy and align with the divine path we are meant to walk. The gates are open. Let's walk through it together. I share as always, Earth Angels, gang gang, we're taking off.